Hello everybody, this is Gene here with Entropy and Sons, and this is our hardware overview video for our synth, the Recursion Studio. So we'll start here on the top of the synth. On the right side, you'll see the LCD panel and touchscreen, which is the major UI point for the synth. Uh, one thing to note though, it is a resistive touchscreen as opposed to a capacitive one, which you might have on your phone. So you're probably gonna need to touch a little bit longer than you might uh, be used to, but it should still work just fine. On the left side of the synth, we have an array of buttons and knobs, so we'll get to that when we actually power on the synth in the next video. So let's move to the back, and we can see the I.O. ports. On the left, we have eight CV jacks, uh, Eurac standard. Uh, it is zero to 10 volt input. You don't need to be super OCD about getting the right levels. It'll clip the signal, but it won't actually damage the synth. Next to that, we have the audio input. So this is a stereo eighth inch jack uh, and it is line level. So any audio interface or cell phone should be outputting the right voltage level, but things like microphones and guitars and other instruments won't. But you probably shouldn't plug those in anyways. It's kind of expecting just a straightforward like live audio feed. All right, next to that, we have two five pin MIDI in and out ports. This is for plugging in older style synths. Next to that is the power jack. This is just power, there's no signal here. Uh, it expects 20 watt PD USB-C. The included adapter should be just fine, but if you need to use a cell phone adapter or a laptop adapter, most of those should probably work too. Next to that is the HDMI out. Uh, this outputs 1080p and can be hooked up to any type of display. You might have uh, a TV, a monitor, a projector, pretty much anything. Next to that is audio out, and this is useful if you wanna monitor the audio that you're running into the synth, but you don't actually wanna, you don't have an adapter to split the audio, or you don't wanna bother. So next, we'll go over here. I apologize for the weird angle. Uh, let's try to get it to focus, there we go. So on the left, we have an ethernet jack. That can be plugged directly into your audio interface, or not audio interface, your uh, modem or router, and you can use that for uh, system updates. But the recommended way of doing that is actually with this little dongle, which is included with the synth. This is a Wi-Fi adapter. You just plug it right in here, and uh, yeah, you can power on the synth and go and update it, but we'll get to that in another video. So uh, the USB ports also are used for MIDI input, and uh, you can plug in basically any MIDI device you might have. It should work just fine, uh, but you do need to go into the synth and configure them afterwards. The last use for these Ether or USB ports is for video input. You can plug web cameras into it, and you can also plug this little dongle into it, which also comes with the synth. This is an HDMI to USB adapter. So any HDMI video source, like a laptop or something like that, that you have video cl clips or loops on, you can feed directly into here and then plug that into here and you can integrate the video directly with the synth's content. Another useful thing you can do with this is you can actually run the output of the synth directly into here, and then you can plug this into a laptop, uh, and then you can turn on OBS and uh, set up a video capture device. This is basically the recommended way for capturing the output of the synth on a computer or for streaming or something like that. But we'll get into that in another video as well. So I think that's it for most of the ports. Uh, the only thing left is on the bottom of the synth, you will see these two sets of three holes. That is for hooking up these little feet uh, they basically give the synth an angle for a better view if you want that. Uh, but one thing to note though is that this, the feet come in left and right, so they're not the same. So this left one goes over here and the right one goes over there. All right, well, thanks for coming by. Uh, stick around for the next video, which will be a quick start for powering the synth on. All right, thanks a lot.